Using simple external recognition features distinguish between the plant phyla bryophyta as well as angiospermophyta. And this question has been done previously by myself, except we did it in a bit more of a um, in a bit more of a complex and a bit more of an in-depth detail. The way that I go about doing this question is that I draw a plant, and there are four main parts of this plant, and we're going to go from roots upwards. First thing is the roots. Bryophyta and angiospermophyta, they have different types of roots. Second thing is we're going to talk about um, the stem or the vasculature. Thirdly, we're going to talk about how they reproduce. And finally, on number four, which I've just drawn, I want to talk about the height. Let's talk about our first thing, so the roots. Bryophyta don't actually have roots, but they have root-like structures, which are called rhizoids. That's our first point. Whereas angiospermophyta, they do contain roots. These roots are well-developed and they move water from inside the soil up into the plant itself. Second point we're going to talk about is whether these uh, different plants have um, blood vessels or not. Well, not blood vessels, but vessels to transport molecules. Bryophyta, they are non-vascular, so they do not have vessels, whereas angiospermophyta, they do have vessels for transport. Number three, we're moving up. Number three, we're looking at the flower, or how the plant reproduces. Bryophyta, they reproduce via spores. Angiospermophyta reproduce via flowers, and they have ovaries. The final thing that we're going to talk about is number four, is how big the plant is altogether. Now, bryophyta are very small, whereas angiospermophyta are much larger, and they can be up to 100 metres in height. So that's um, a simple way to go through this question for four marks.